Hey guys, what's up? So here we are painting. Uh, I'm doing a little paintbrush review video. So Shauna likes the watercolor paint. She wanted to get into it. And uh, I'm uh, so, you know, I thought I'd paint with her and we've been doing some painting together. Shauna, you want to show some of your paintings off to the camera? Let's see if it'll focus. Look at, her. Look at that. Look at that right there. I wonder if the camera will focus on that. Oh, see, it's focused on you now. You're sharp. You're sharp enough. Oh, okay. <laughs> now it's back on me. Can you show a couple more? You're still on the butterfly. There you go. There's your tree. Is that your tree? Mm -hmm. All right. Show off your flowers. Cool. All right. Painting is fun. So we got into painting and we got some supplies. And uh, the first thing I ordered, I mean, I had paint brushes and stuff, camera back on me, camera back, there you go. I've got some, uh, I've got some brushes and stuff, but a lot of my watercolor brushes were pretty old, not that great. And since Shauna was doing it, we were gonna share, I thought we need more brushes. So the first thing I bought was this Art, Artgia set, Artigia, Artigria, Artigria set. Uh, and they're called Intuition. Um, it was from Amazon and it was one of the highest rated brushes when I just cheap brushes when I went through Amazon. They were $10 and you got a set of four. You get a two, four, six, and eight rounds. And uh, I always just really prefer rounds for water, almost all of my watercolor painting. So um, at the same time, I also ordered from an actual art supply, Jerry's Artorama, which I've bought from before in the past and really good art supply store. And I got a Winsor & Newton Professional Watercolor Sable Brush. Whoosh, Professional Watercolor Sable Brush. <laughs> Winsor & Newton Brush was, I think, $13 for a size six. And you're probably thinking to yourself, wow, you can get four nice professional brushes for $10 or one professional brush for like 13. Um, the same set, if I'd gotten the two, four, six, and eight of the Windsor Newton Sable brushes, it would have been, I think about 40, 40 bucks, maybe 45 bucks. So what's the difference between these two? Well, the our, the Amazon brush, the in, Intuition brush, our Tigria brush, is synthetic. It says synthetic squirrel hair. I don't know what that's supposed to mean, synthetic squirrel hair. This is real sable. <laughs> pure sable. It's not like a synthetic mixture. So let's just compare these two, shall we? My 5D Mark II is a $500 light stand. That's about all it's good for. Okay guys, so the first thing I found is this Artigria brush. Even though they say they're rounds, they're actually pointed rounds. That's a totally different kind of brush. It's basically a round that ends in a really, really long sort of tip, which these are sort of like if you combined, combined a round brush with a liner, it ends with a sharp point. So you can make some really, really, really little skinny lines with it if you're careful and just use the tip. Uh, but that's not really what I use rounds for. Rounds are more of just a general purpose brush. So one of the first things I wonder is, you know, like how much, uh, you know, watercolor brushes need to hold a lot of paint and hold a lot of water. So let's see how many lines I can make with this brush. Oh my gosh, there's a cat. You guys have probably seen Biddy before. He likes to jump into all my review videos. Two, three, four, Five. Look at all these lines. This is doing a really good job, but I'm making really skinny lines. Six. <laughs> seven. Eight. And the lines are starting to get pretty fuzzy. It's pretty much out of paint. Now it's about gone. All right. So look at those lines. I got about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. About eight good ones. Don't steal my brush. You trying to keep it safe from Biddy? Okay. Let's see how the sable brush does now. It first thing you'll find, you know, this this is a this professional Windsor Newton brush. It doesn't come to as sharp a point as the cheap Amazon brush, but that's kind of not really the point of a round. I don't buy rounds. Uh, that's not a point of a round. <laughs> uh, 
you don't buy a size six round brush to have like a super sharp point. Instead, it's like kind of meant to put down quite, I mean, I use a size six to put down pretty large amounts of paint. So it's gonna be hard for me to make lines that small, but let's see what I can do here. Oh, I can't come close to making lines that small with this. One, two, three, I'm careful I kind of can. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. It's getting kind of boring, so I'm going to make some bigger lines. Eleven. Twelve. I mean, I could probably keep going. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Now we're starting to run out of paint on our brush. But you can tell it put down more paint. It held more paint. It held more water. These, this brush is more, uh, is, holds more than the cheap one, which is obvious. I mean, it should, it's a lot more money. Now let's do another little test here. We'll use the back of that. So what I would actually do, we'll just do like a little swatch test. So if I wanna do just a box with this, you know, you're gonna use a size six brush to kind of fill in space and it works really, really well to fill in space and it puts down a nice smooth coat of paint. Look at that. Oh, oh yeah, very good job. So this is kind of, you know, filling in spaces, larger spaces like that. That's where this brush really excels. And that's what a six round is probably used for, but these pointed rounds, they're not so great at that. So I'll grab this pointed round brush. And if I want to do a swatch like that, that long point, you know, kind of gets in the way. Um, I get, you know, I don't really want that. You know, I don't want that long point for this. So that's kind of annoying. So, I mean, really, that's kind of the difference between buying like real art supplies and buying something from Amazon. This is a great brush, but, you know, a lot of people who watercolor paint probably want something that holds a really, really sharp point. They think that's the most important thing. And it is important for like something like a liner brush. Look at that. I can't even fill this entire box in. I have to go back and pick up more paint to fill this entire box in. Um, it, it's, it's a good brush and it's well worth the money. I'm not trying to put it down. But this is kind of like the difference between buying real art supplies and, you know, the difference between buying something that's actual professional um, and buying something that's just kind of, um, you know, from Amazon. You get some good stuff from Amazon. It's just not as good. That looks better than that. It's much smoother. I didn't have to brush nearly as many times. I don't have these little annoying things. Um, so... Almost these brushes are great if you want to own less brushes because it's almost like having a combination between a liner and a round at the same time. But I would prefer to have both a liner and a round. So if I want to make lines, I've got my long pointy round, uh, liner. And if I want to fill in the gaps, I'd use my six or my eight. So, um, you know, quality and good tools matter. But if you want to get started painting, you know, cheap. These are made really well. They feel nice and heavy. I think they would last a long time. We've been using them now for several weeks. They still come to a nice point and they do good for a synthetic brush. Um, but if you want better quality, spend a little bit more, get the real thing. Um, just to show you, where's that seven brush at? You got it over there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the seven series. Seven series. When I was painting miniatures, I bought a Series 7 Windsor Newton brush. This thing painted so many miniatures years and years ago. I used it for a long time and it's like still super sharp, super pointy. So uh, I'm a big fan of Windsor Newton brushes for watercolor. And 
but you know what? You can't hardly argue when you can buy a set of four paint brushes for nine bucks and that's pretty much all you need. Thanks for watching. See you later. Say bye, Shondo. Bye. Hold on. <laughs> Say bye, Shondo. Bye. bye.